Okay, what's up everybody? Owen here, and I'm just gonna try and revisit my last Twixter tutorial. It was old, my voice is all weird, I hate it, it was complicated, and I didn't cover many things as I should have. So yeah, I'm planning on redoing a bunch of tutorials. Or not redoing, but just having a bunch of tutorials in general on this channel because people keep asking okay so pretty much let's get to the point when people use twixter they don't use it properly and they always have to mute the audio and then that's never fun you like that whole like kind of sound when you like slow-mo it you know okay pretty much this is what you're going to end off with after this <laughs> So yeah, you get to keep your sound, you get that smooth slow motion, and it's all nice and awesome. I'll have the clip in the description for you can download, test this out. I'll probably actually put the whole project there for you. Although, th you don't really need it, it's not that hard. Oh, okay, so let's get straight into this. You got first file, import your clip from wherever, and then make a new composition. So here's a clip, here's the composition. You probably want to lengthen it a bit just to be safe. You're not cutting anything off. And yeah, this is my first tutorial in a while, so it's a bit buggy. Sorry if the microphone's a bit low too. Whatever. Okay, so first add Twixter, revision plugins, Twixter. You don't really need to use Twixter Pro. It's very pointless. It's just a lot of pointless features. I just like to keep things simple here. Uh, set your frame rate to match your clip. Mine is 60 frames a second or 59.94. And to help get rid of all that blur and warping, you would want to use contrast and edge enhance. Also with smart blend and motion weighted blend. Those, I don't know what they do, but they help. And that's it. Like, you don't want to touch anything else in Twixter. You're done. Fuck off, Razor. That, that's it. God damn fucking damn it Fraser okay that's enough okay so now what you want to do is pre-compose the clip and move all attributes into new composition so what that does is like it makes this clip with Twixter already applied in like a whole new clip I guess I don't know but it, so now you have this whole new clip with no more effects it's just the clip with the blur and Twixter and whatnot so now it's just normal time remapping, re remapping, ramping, whatever you want to call it in Twixter, or in After Effects. God damn it, I'm out of it today. Okay, so first off, right click, time, enable time remapping. Now what you're going to want to do is find the spot where he pops, pretty much. Set a keyframe there find out where he lands and set a keyframe there now go over to the end of the clip because that is like non-existent now the when you pre-composed it it just filled up the whole length of the composition so now you're going to want to find the end of the clip where the screen goes black and set a keyframe there so now you shift click on the two keyframes and just drag them back what that's going to do is it's going to stretch pretty much the time out, slow everything down. And because you now have Twixter on that pre-composed clip, it's going to be super smooth. Like so. And then to give it that cool kind of like, whatever kind of sound, you just kind of click on this bottom keyframe here, hold down shift. Hold down shift and bring it up. And then same with over here. And just try and make it kind of a perfect loop by messing with these. And just try and make it a perfect kind of circle. That'll keep it in the middle. And then it speeds up and he lands. Now if we ramp preview this, give it a moment. You 
you kind of now see there's no jumping there's no weird motion blur it's all just nice and beautiful and I think that sums it up that's all I really have to say if you want to add another bit of slow-mo you can I guess add another keyframe and just repeat the process again shift click drag it back uh, click time remap make your loop and I don't know also uh, uh, I should have mentioned this before but if you're not seeing this graph make sure you have edit speed graph done that that should probably be checked and then yeah that's pretty much it make sure to enable frame blending cuz apparently that's what Twixter uses and that's it render out your clip you're done sweet uh, bye